This may not seem like the most earth shattering of tips, but over time, it will save you so much of the aforementioned, AKA time. So what I'm gonna quickly cover is the tool selection icons here that you can see. Now to access each of the tool commands, there is a shortcut that allows you to flick through them depending on uh, which action you need to uh, perform. One is the cursor, two, three, four, five, etc. So here I've got a drum loop. See, that's not what I wanted. I wanted this one. So I've got a drum loop here. You know, you may want to drag it and so on. But you might say, okay, I'm going to I'm gonna slice this. So instead of going to the top each time and saying, okay, which one is my slice tool? Wait for the tool tip to, to, uh, to show up. Okay, I know it's this one. I'm going to slice it. And now, and now I want to move it. So I've got to click that, etc. What you can do is my most used tool is the cursor so I always keep it on the on the cursor but if I want to slice the loop what I can do is I can hold the shortcut key so in this instance it is five so I can hold it down slice where I want and again there let go of the five key and it automatically snaps back to my original selection um, <clears throat> so to further demonstrate say this is a snare uh, and I don't want the kick drums that are either side, I can hold, the eraser is four, so I can hold four, get rid of that. Let go, and it snaps back to the cursor tool again. I hope that helped. Be sure to check back on my channel for future videos in the series. Peace.